What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, John from the Gamer Dude, here, welcoming you back to another episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. And in the last episode, we had some crazy shenanigans, especially at nighttime. We left off. Tenko literally just um, showed Angie that she is not part of her group. This is a big development, considering that now the student council is going to be on Tenko, and I'm definitely nervous and nerve wracked for that. But hopefully you are, are here, ready to enjoy this amazing episode. As we gotta see who's at the door. I'm assuming it's Maki. My assumption is correct. Well, what's with that face? You look like you just woke up. Huh? I did just wake up. The announcement was just a minute ago. Ew. You woke. Wait, you wake up to that? If you rely on the announcement as your alarm clock, then you'll start getting used to this place. Uh, well, okay. I suppose that's true. Right. It's fine. Let's just stop the ritual. Huh? Kaido. Okay. I heard from Maki Roll. I heard from Maki Roll that why are you saying Maki Roll? What the heck, Kaido? It seems Angie is gonna do the ritual. What? Maki Roll. Don't give me such a weird nickname. Thank you. I'm with you, Maki. BF needs to give me nicknames, but especially not like that. But Maki Roll, no. Oh. You brought Kaido here too, Maki? Why? Is that weird? We need a backup plan in case the straightforward approach fails. Who better than Kaido for? A less than straightforward approach. But, but Kaido, are you feeling okay? Huh. We don't have to worry, or we don't have time to be worrying about me. I'm gonna stop this ridiculous resurrecting the dead crap, okay. and then we can finally drop the topic, or else I'm not gonna last. You're not gonna last, Kaido. Are you um scared? Uh, huh? No. Ah, it's just as I remember that you don't like talking about ghosts and stuff. Because now that I think about it. You've been acting so strange ever since. We started talking about resurrecting the dead. Shut up! Don't be stupid! There's no way! Uh, um, oh, <laughs> so I was right. Got a minute? Wait, you mean the reason you couldn't come to training is because you were scared? So... It's not that I'm scared, that's just how my body is. It's fine when it comes to cramped areas, space, zero gravity, but ghost stories? Uh... Ugh. Ever since I was a kid, whenever I hear them, I just start to feel sick. Kaido was looking more and more pale as he spoke. Because of that, I haven't been able to eat or sleep since all this crap started. Hmm. So that's what happened. Okay. So let's hurry and stop Angie so we can put an end to all this spooky stuff. If things like get any scarier, I'll seriously die from a heart attack. Uh, Why are you looking at me like that? Uh, unbelievable. You always act like you're not afraid of anything. Shut up! Shut up! Let's go stop Angie already! Come on, bro. Come on, Maki Roll. Hurry up. I told you. Seriously, don't call me Maki oh. Roll. Anyway, t let's go to Angie's lab. Angie's lab, we go on the fourth floor with my best friend and my friend that I like that's female. Honestly, like, I'm so happy that the, the three of us are, like, the castmates that are the big focus right now. I really hope that Maki continues to be more of a focus and more of a central role because if she does maintain that central role, I will appreciate this a lot. But we'll find out. Oh god, Himiko's protecting Angie. Oh no, let's go just throw Himiko to the fucking side of the wall because she doesn't exist. <laughs> I know somebody who likes Himiko and I feel bad because I'm like, I don't mind Himiko, but she just gets in my way. <laughs> it's like, great. You guys again? Why? Himiko, why are you here? Were you keeping watch this whole time? I wouldn't do something like that. It sounds like a plan. I came to check on Angie. You. So, what do you guys want? Don't tell me you came to stop Angie again. Okay. Yeah. Because this ritual is Monokuma's motive. We shouldn't let it happen. Okay. That's exactly right. It is not because I'm scared or anything, okay? Uh, whatever. But it's good that you're here. She won't open the door for anyone but members of the student council, right? Then... Tell Angie to open it for us. Mm -hmm. Meh. That's not possible. Huh? Not possible. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask her how the ritual went, so I've been calling to her. But she really must be into her work. She won't come out. Huh? She won't come out? Are you sure she's in there? Mm -hmm. She could. She should be inside. Both doors, this door and the back door, are locked. Huh? Both doors are locked? What I was scared of, this. I, I pointed this out too. I tried to turn the knob and turn it. Click, 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 click. It really is locked. But these doors are only locked from the inside. Which means there's definitely someone in there. Hey. Any response? No. Actually, no. She might 
All right, maybe she's sleeping. No answer. Himiko. Himiko, we need to get inside now. Mm -hmm. Why? Nah. You know, even if we wanted to check it's or to check it's locked. So what can we? Do? Oh, so what can't we do? I heard everything, and I'm just as shocked as you are by what the tabloids are reporting. What? You obviously didn't hear anything at all. Ew. Where did you come from? Um, a little birdie told me that it now would be a good time to bust out my old trick. Kokichi's trick. You're gonna lockpick. Kokichi. Oh my god, please, 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 please. Lockpick. Pick a lock. 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 Oh. <gasps> the lockpicking. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my god. Kokichi, huh? yes. Yes, yes, Kokichi. Huh? Lockpicking. Hey. During the insect meet and greet, Kokichi was able to get into our rooms by lockpicking. Can you use the lockpicking skills to open, get this lab door open? Mm -hmm. Oh, so you want me to pick the door open, huh? Hmm, let me see. Kokichi bent over and peeked into the keyhole, keyhole of the doorknob. Ah. ah, so it's a cylinder lock. Now this type of lock is perfect for lockpicking. Um. Yes, please, Kokichi, open the lock. You. It's rude to pick a lock without permission. Himiko. Now is not the time for that. Something must have happened to Angie. Yeah. Don't worry about that, Kokichi. Hurry up and open the door. Dad. Sorry, Himiko. I'm only doing this because these three are threatening me. Kokichi pulled out some thin needles and stuck them to the keyhole in the, of the lock. Click, 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 clack. See? There. Open, says me. Huh? That's simple. <laughs> <laughs> Not to brag, but I'm the ultimate supreme leader, you know? No. Lock picking seems to be more suited for petty thieves. You got me. Ah! That cuts real deep, Maki. All right. Let's go inside. I'm worried about Angie. Yeah, you're right. When I touched the doorknob, I realized my palms were sweating from fear. Fear. Why am I nervous? I turned the door, pushed the door open, and saw. I swear if I actually doubled. Oh my god, I did. No, 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 I did. I doubled. I was... Wait. Oh, no, I didn't. What? The live sacrifice, right? What? <laughs> she's gone! I have a feeling Taco did it, but she's gone! <laughs> what? Or I was not expecting her to be gone. I expected it to be Tenko or somebody else. I was so fully expecting to be, be, I'm speechless. I, I definitely didn't expect her to be gone. So why, did she die? Well, she was killed by one of us, in theory, unless the Necromonicon killed her because she tried to perform the ritual and failed. But I doubt that's the case. I believe somebody would have killed her. And I, I have a feeling it's, te oh wow, we're gonna actually have Gamer trying to figure out who did it. Okay. Ding dong, bing bong. This is an A body one. has been discovered. Everyone please assemble at the ultimate art lab. But here's my thing. Okay, so again, like I said, I, I said it before. If it's the person in a different place, I'm going to be upset. But this is exactly what I said. I said the art room is a perfect room to commit a crime because their both doors can be locked. Both doors got locked from the inside, which means there was some form of place that the, the killer was able to escape outside of. We got to find that place, number one. That is the number one priority. Find out how they escaped. Two, it has to be somebody from the student council. So, could it have been? there? The only person I can think of is, in fact, Tenko. But... It could have been Angie. It could have been, or not Angie. It could have been, it could have been, basically my brain is anybody on the student council is probably who did it, but we'll find out. <laughs> ah. ah, she puked again, but this time it's green. Monofane's green puke is said to be the omen of bad luck and disaster. What on earth is about to happen? Transfer student from beyond the grave. Deadly life. I was not at all Will expecting them. it to be Angie. Let us pray for Angie. <sighs> Sigh. 
so that Atua may guide her soul to the gates of heaven. <sighs> Atua, please take care of Angie. It hey, can't be. why did it end up like this? Uh, didn't Angie have Atua with her? You don't know. Clearly she didn't. Weird. That is not true. Angie say Atua always is on or by our side. Damn it. We don't have time to be talking about this. Instead of talking about Atua. Right? Yeah. We're going to talk about which one of us is the culprit and win this killing game. Really? Wait. This is part of the killing game? That's right. What else could it be? The fact that Angie's dead can only mean one thing. One of us killed her. No way. But, wh but why exactly someone do such awful thing but... is that really what happened huh huh could it be is it possible the culprit who killed angie wasn't one of us but uh oh uh, the vomit soaked entrance how novel and the puke is green again too that's a pretty ominous sign. Ugh, why did the murder happen? What's the deal, Mononom? I thought you were gonna make everyone get along. Okay. Don't worry, overcoming this will bring everyone closer together. That has been the case so far, yes? Their bond gets stronger with each class trial, does it not? Murders are necessary to bring everyone closer together. But how? So let's get started. Conduct a friendly investigation, and then we will have a friendly class trial. We must distribute these first. Oh, oh look! The Monokuma file! I wanted to pat or be the one to pass it out. Didn't you want it, or didn't you want to do it too, Monofane? So. By the way, I've been thinking, you guys should knock off all the killing and dying. Dying is, like, so lame. Living is, like, all the rage these days. <laughs> Oh, more green puke! This is really unlucky! So, long. so we actually are gonna get to investigate. So then. So, there is no use complaining. We are better off beginning our investigation. So, everyone, we all will need to. Or we all know what to do, yes? Yeah. Yep, I mean, by the third murder, we should all be pretty used to dead bodies. Wait! No, Gata! No way, Gata ever get used to this! Nope. Trust me. You don't want to get used to this. No one should be used to this. <laughs> That's so nice and all, but it seems pretty insincere coming from an assassin. Unfortunately. Let's start investigating. It's not like we have any other choice. You're right. That's true. But still, it's strange. This is a bizarre setup. Four wax figures, effigies of the dead, hung upside down in the room. In the middle, Angie's body in a pool of blood? It certainly appears to be some kind of ritual. Alright, bro. I'm counting on you as my sidekick. Let's end this nightmare together. Okay. Yeah, but are you feeling okay, Kaido? Okay. Yeah, ser we seriously don't have time to be talking about this. No way I we're gonna die here. I'm definitely going to find the culprit. Seems like... The culprit? It's... Is it really someone among us that killed Angie? Hmm. Oh, I get how you feel, Samugi, but... Do you have to repeat the tired old line every time? Uh, oh, no, that's not it. I mean, could it have been the work of the transfer student? Uh, huh? Uh, Angie prepared the ritual in this room to resurrect the dead, right? And she made those wax dolls hanging upside down part of the ritual. Could it be? Maybe the ritual succeeded and the resurrected person killed her? Uh, hey. What? Shut up already. Wh what? It's her fault telling scary stories out of nowhere like that. Saying mess up stuff like that? Uh, Kaido, um, are you alright? Damn. Sure. Sorry, Sarichi. I just need to go get some fresh air. I'll leave this to you and Maki. Do a good job, you guys, okay? Kaido left. Still a bit wobbly. <sighs> Do a good job. That coward has lost all nerve bossing us or got a lot of nerve bossing us around. <laughs> Maybe, but that wasn't the best way to phrase it, but he could but he just wants us to encourage. Jeez. You clearly settled right into the sidekick role. It's okay. I don't need him to give me orders. With so few people left, I can't afford to sit out anymore. Well... So, where should we start? We should check the Monokuma file first, right? You're right. Yes, let's take a look. The victim is Angie. 
Yanaga, the ultimate artist. The person who I didn't expect to die whatsoever. My body, or the body, was found in the ultimate artist lab. The, the place I did expect for a murder to occur. The time of death was approximately 2 in the morning. Wow, okay. The cause of death was a stab wound to the back of the neck. The forehead also has a laceration. Wow, okay. Monica Mafal 3 has been added to the monopad. We don't know the weapon. That's going to be the big thing we got to figure out. Mm. The Monokuma filed the time of death this time. Mm. 2 a.m. Everyone must have been asleep. We probably can't rely on witness testimonies. <laughs> so the murder happened at nighttime after all? If everyone had followed the student council's rules like Angie and Attila said. <laughs> What's good will saying that do? The culprit may be one of the student council, yes. Why? A member of the student council. Th that's... All right. We should go and figure that out. Let us start investigating and solve the mystery together. It's impossible. I can't. Himiko? Uh. I can't do it. I can't investigate Angie's body. But... But if we don't make it through this class trial, then everyone will die. Whatever. I don't care anymore. Huh? What? What a pain. Surviving and everything else. It's just too much of a pain. What was that? Then why don't you just use your magic and revive Angie? Please stop. This is not, this is no time for me-spirited taunts. Reviving her is clearly impossible. Is that so? We cannot say with that certainty, or that with certainty, no. Huh? Excuse me? No. Well, of course, resurrecting her is impossible. But I know the way, a way we can speak with Angie. You see? We can summon her spirit in the, with the seance called the caged child. Seance? What are you trying to pull? Seance? What are you talking about? Cut it out already. You gotta be kidding me! Yeah, this is no time for jokes. I'm serious. Oh. I am serious. This is for our investigation. Huh? For our investigation? Yes. If we speak with Angie, we can ask her who the culprit is and bring the case to a swift close. Well, you know. Uh, first the resurrection ritual, now a seance? Are you messing with us? You understand. <laughs> I would appreciate if you didn't compare it to the Monokuma's foolishness. Seances are a genuine occurrence that are, wit are written in the literature the world over. In fact, I myself have participated in seance a great many times. Huh? Many times? On top of that, we have the rare chance to perform the leg legendary seance, the caged child. It would be foolish not to take advantage of this, yes? No. No matter what, or no matter how you put it, now is not the time for something. However, oh, I suspect the only way to confirm your earlier theory is by performing the seance, yes? What? My earlier theory? Therefore. The possibility that the culprit could be resurrected, transfer, the resurrected transfer student. It is not wise to go into a class trial with such outlandish theories in one head. Well. To provide such an impossible, or things, or to prove such thing impossible, I think it's best we consult Angie herself. Incomprehensible. That logic is peculiar to say the least. Um. Hold your seance to find out the ritual? Oh, so we're gonna fight the occult with the occult? Okay. Well, we can't worry about this forever, so we might as well go with the easy solution. How exciting. Okay, I'll help out. I was getting bored of investigating anyway. Huh? What? Mm. I'll help too. Huh? Huh? You too, Emiko. Hey. If I can talk to Angie one more time, I'll do anything. A seance or whatever it takes. I'll do it. Well. I'll help out too as well. I can't leave Emiko alone. Whatever you want. Yes. Okay, I will. So then. So now, we have four participants. Kokichi, Himiko, Tanko, and myself. However, the caged child requires five people. We're still one short. Oh. Fine, then Kiyoboy can come too. Yeah. I guess we can't be picky. Why? Why am I being forced to participate and being treated like a burden? Well then. So then, we need a place to perform the seance. Where shall we do it? Mm -hmm. How about your lab? No. No. In order to, for the caged child to succeed, a room must be as dark as possible. My lab has windows, so turning the lights off won't make it quite dark enough. Then... How about the empty rooms? That's... The empty rooms? The ones on the fourth mm. floor. There aren't any windows there. So if we blow out the candles, it should be pitch dark. Yeah. Sure, I'm fine with that. Listen up. I agree with Himiko. However, there are three empty rooms. Which one shall we then... use? The middle room. The middle room always 
is best for stuff like this. I see, yes. Very well. I shall begin the preparations at once. I shall have you for help as well. Let us carry the necessary equipment from my lab. Uh, um, Are you sure you're really going to do this? Do you understand? This is for our investigation, as I said. My, I said as much, did I not? <laughs> we need to use all the efforts to discover the culprit, lest our lives be lost. Kyo, Kokichi, Kibo, Tenko, and Himiko all left the scene. This is stupid. Are they serious about the stupid seance? But... Perhaps it could be part of the investigation. We should go with it. In any case, I should focus on what I can do. What the ultimate detective can do. Investigation. Angie's body. She's laying there, face down in the middle of the room. What's wrong? Are you going to take a closer look? Uh... Okay. Yes, I was planning to. Wait a minute. Then let's hurry up and do it. We can't afford to waste any time here. Maki didn't hesitate. She stepped past me and walked over the body. She had no problem with dead bodies. She is the ultimate assassin. The blood dripping from Angie's head. According to the Monokuma file, she sustained a stab wound in the back of the neck, as well as a laceration on her forehead. I knew it. The killing blow was a single stab to the back of the neck. A sneak attack, most likely. Well. Then, what do you make of the, this wound on her forehead? <sighs> Maybe the culprit hit her head before stabbing her from behind. But... But her two wounds are substantially different. Did the culprit change weapons mid-attack? Oh, yeah. I suppose that would be unnecessary. Remember. Also, the wound on her forehead looks deep enough... But... Or looks deep, but it's not bleeding much. What's going on with these two wounds? Forehead injury has been added to the truth bullet section of the Armada pad. Huh? 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 What's wrong, Maki? You got a minute? Move. Maki pushes me aside and lifted Angie's body up by the shoulder. Is this... What's this doing clumped underneath her body? What is it? This is duct tape, right? What's duct tape doing here? Uh, um... I don't know, but it must be related to the case. Looks like hairs are stuck to the tape. Long hairs. Angie's, right? Bloody duct tape with Angie's hair on it. What could that mean? Bloody duct tape has been added to the truth section what? of the monopod. I'm surprised you spotted this monkey. It was hidden under her body. So what? It was or partially visible. As a detective, you should have noticed it before I did. Uh, okay. Oh, well, that's true. <sighs> Even so, I guess you're still getting used to being around dead bodies. But don't beat yourself up okay. over it. Well then, it is good that you were used to corpses, monkey. Huh. Sorry. Sorry. Joking. I couldn't resist. Got a minute? You don't need apologies. I was joking too. That didn't sound like a joke, though. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's important. The four effigies are hung upside down. Uh, makes the scene uh, eerily creepy. Ropes are dangling from the exposed beams on the ceiling. If I remember correctly, all of these wax figures... Angie made all these wax figures. Hey, hey. Is this rope from the warehouse You're right i believe so that means they won't have much of a clue or won't be much of a clue anyone could have gone and gotten those ropes <sighs> maybe the student council should have blocked the warehouse instead of the manhole the warehouse does contain plenty of things that could be used for a murder uh, anyway um, i know these effigies are just wax but it creeps me out that's true the effigies look exactly like real people not just these faces but their bodies too the ultimate artist certainly was talented. By the way. By the way? Why is this effigy hanging upside down? Is it part of the ritual? Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm surprised we're not pointing out a sword. What is it? If not, then why is it like this? Who would go out of their way to hang a wax effigy? Right. If they're going to do this much work, there must be a reason to it. What could it be? Who would do this? The culprit? Or Angie? Or someone else entirely. Effigies hung upside down has been added to the truth bullet section of the monopath. Necromonicon. Ah, this book. There's instructions. Um, uh, these instructions for the resurrection ritual are written in the Necronomicon. By performing the ritual as written, you can resurrect one deceased victim. I knew it. This was the motive. The Necromonicon. Nomicon. Mm -hmm. And you tried to perform the ritual written in this book, right? Okay. Yes. And we look at the book, we should learn the steps of the ritual that she was trying to perform. Let's take a look. 
the Necromonicon, Necronomicon Resurrection Ritual. Prepare an effigy, or prepare, oh, preparing the effigy. Or uh, prepare an effigy of the dead soul you wish to contract. Everyone may participate. The size, shape of the effigy is irrelevant. Make it out of whatever materials you wish. If it's not obvious who the effigy is supposed to be, label it with the name of the deceased. After preparing the effigy, burn the Necromonicon to ashes. Use caution and be mindful of the carbon monoxide poisoning. Sprinkle the ashes on the effigy and repeat the name of the deceased three times. Then close your eyes and wait a while. You should feel a slight tap on your back, and if so, it means the ritual was a success. The ashes are only good for one use. The ritual can only be performed once, so use it wisely. So these are the steps to the resurrection ritual. She probably got killed while she was closing her eyes to, for the burned book. This is stupid. Angie really believed this crap? It's pretty obvious that you wouldn't be able to resurrect anyone with this. Under normal circumstances, I'm sure that's true. But in this place, I don't think we can rule anything out. Necronomicon has been added to the truth bullet section of our hand. A murder at nighttime is strange, impossible even. Why? Why do you think that? Right. Cause student council made the rule that we no go outside during nighttime. Everyone should have been asleep. No way murder could have happened at nighttime. Ew. Do you really think everyone was gonna go along with that rule? What? But it Atua's rule. Angie say he punish us for not follow his rules. But. But the student council wasn't included in that, correct? They could go, or they could do what they wanted. Angie was also working here at night. <gasps> she was. But no way. Student council would never break own rules. Right. They should have been asleep in own rooms to set good example for others. <sighs> Maybe Angie got attacked while she sleep in her room and got brought here. Gonta, if idiot. so, Gonta could have saved her. If only Gonta saw. But Gonta was sleeping. Sorry, Angie. Gonta no could save you. I find it hard to believe that nobody went outside in spite of the student council's rule. I agree. Um, um, I'm not sure if it's okay to say this, but could Tenko be the culprit? Huh? Huh? Tenko? Uh -huh. Um, it's not like I have proof or anything, but earlier I heard Himiko say that Tenko was trying to betray the student council. No. So you suspect Tenko? Actually... Because a member of the student council, she would have been allowed to enter this lab. Oh, yeah. That's right. Angie did allow the members of the student council to enter her lab. Oh. Yeah. Angie had what, been a shutaway here working on the ritual by herself since yesterday. She said she would be only unlock the door if she heard the voice of a student council member. That's true. That would be certainly point to Tenko. She did betray the student council after all. No. It's not that I would want to suspect Tenko, but since only student council members would have been let in here... So Angie only let in student council members. That would be Gata, Kibo, Himiko, Tenko, and Samugi. Of the group, Tenko was certainly the most suspicious. Samugi's account has been out of the truth bullet section of the handbook. See, them pointing to the student council makes me believe it's not the student council. <laughs> that busty, brainy beauty has this all figured out! Huh? huh? You mean, you know who the culprit is? What was that? Uh, the culprit? Uh, fuck that! Hey. Suichi, do we really have time to be listening to her? Wait! Hey, wait! Wait, goddammit! Are you gonna ignore my genius idea? Just what? listen to me, okay? Uh, come on, uh, listen to me, listen. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> if you're gonna let me twist your arm, then I'll tell ya. Or if you're gonna twist my arm, then I'll tell you. You better thank me for this. You know. I know y'all are dumber than fleas. Even you can know how weird this wax dolls are, right? They are strange. Are they used for the ritual or for another purpose? Well, then. But I figured out that at one glance that these are diversions. Could it be? Diversions. Listen up. Yep. The culprit used these wax dolls to distract us from seeing something. Got a minute? What do you mean by that? What? How should I know? This isn't Sherlock Homo's job. I knew it. You're a waste of time. Isn't this Sherlock Homo's job? That's what I meant to say. Maki turned and walked away. I can't say I blame her. What was that? Huh? The hell's her problem? She's just a, is she just a, on the rag or something? Hmm. So, Angie made these wax dolls, huh? To resemble, the resemblance is pretty uncanny. They say the devil's in the details, you know. Let's just see how detailed they really are. 
Hey. Mew tried to look up the wax faker skirt. Hey. What are you doing? Stop that! <laughs> what? what? I just wanted to see if this doll was wearing panties. Um, Wait. Do you have a doll fetish? Are you excited that your dead girlfriend's a doll now? If you like wax it. dolls so much, then go fuck that doll already! I'm starting to agree with Maki. Trade talking to me was just a waste of time. Okay. Is there anything else that I can... The door. This is the back lab's back door. Is this? This door is a sliding lock, and it's still locked. That's true. That's because no one has used this door since we came here. I believe Angie locked the door when she came in, and it's been locked ever since. Hey. Oh wait, what's this? Look, there's something gold and shiny on the tab of the sliding lock. Gold and shiny? Could it be? Oh god, it's the uh, the flakes from the um, sword. Is that all right, Maki? May I see it for a minute? I want to try moving the sliding lock. So what? You want to unlock it? Well, go ahead, do what you want. I carefully touched the knob of the lock, avoiding the gold parts. And softly, softly slid the lock open. Click. Okay. Just as I suspected. This lock will slide without much effort. Click, click. Hmm. Whether you lock it or unlock it. That could be an important clue. Arts lab door has been added to the monopad section. Well... I'm curious about the rear door, too. But there's something else that bothers me. The lock on the front door that we used to enter this room. Shouldn't we investigate the front door, too? I'm gonna take a closer look at it. Maki walked over to the front door. It's unlocked, but I think there's still things to investigate here. Oh, we talked to Maki. Okay, that's what I'm that's what I'm doing wrong. I'm like trying to investigate the door, but it's Maki. Hey. I wanted to confirm something. When we got to this lab, you sh um are you sure that the front door was locked? Okay. Yes, I'm positive. I grabbed the knob and tried to turn it. Click click click. It's really locked. I knew it. The front entrance was locked until Kokichi picked the door or picked the lock to open it. Yeah, but it was really easy. Kiji pulled some thin needles and stuck them to the keyhole of the lock. Click, click. Clack. There open says me! Hmm. So he picked the cylinder lock open? Hey. Do you think anyone else could have opened the lock besides him? That's true. That would be impossible. From the outside, the monocups took the key. Okay, here it is! But there's only one key, so don't lose it! It'd be bad if you lost it. You wouldn't be able to lock the door and open it from the outside. Let me see that key. Monodom swept the key from the monophane and lifted it into his mouth. Nom. He ate it! Then... So Kokichi is the only one that could have opened the or closed the door from the outside, right? Hmm. Correct. Only Kokichi would have been able to open and close the door from the outside. Someone inside could have opened and closed it as they pleased. Huh? So, the front door was locked from the outside of the room. No. Not necessarily. I'm just thinking of possibilities. In that case, the question becomes how the person who locked the doors got out. How the culprit got out of the classroom after locking the doors. Yep, that's exactly what my question was. 100% what, what my question was. Hmm. Still, it's strange that the front door and the back door have different locks. The front door we came in from has a cylinder lock, and the door from the rear has a sliding lock. By the time we discovered the body, both doors were locked. In other words, this might call or might be what you call a locked room mystery, right? Yes. Okay, this is exactly okay. Locked, huh? You're right. Yes. The cylinder lock key was taken by the monocups. Both of the doors could only be locked from the outs or the inside. Mm. So if, but only if you rule out Kokichi's lock picking, right? He could have locked the cylinder lock on the front door and go to go in and out of the lab. So he could have created this lock room mystery. It is possible he locked the door from the outside after picking or after outside by picking it after he killed Angie. If I remember correctly. That's true. That's right. He also appeared at an oddly convenient time when we tried to enter the lab ourselves. I knew it. He's clearly suspicious. 
it is suspicious, but that solution seems a little too convenient. Kokiji's lockpicking has been added to the monopad. I think there's still things we can investigate within here. Can we already finish Angie's, Angie's body? I think we did. Yeah, we did. Oh, pool of blood. Oh my god. <laughs> Why did I not think that was, like, something to look at? Pool of blood. A small pool of blood has emanated from Angie's torso. But this can't be from her forehead. The blood is from the back of her neck. Is this... this blood is dry. It must have spilled a few hours after Angie was killed. Or hours before Angie was killed. Maybe more. Hmm. That fits. The 2 a.m. time of death listed in the Monokuma file. Hmm. Angie's body appears to be exactly as described in the Monokuma file. Hmm. There were several clues, or clues that caught my attention, but I can't draw conclusions yet. If we think about all the evidence in the combination, that might tell us something. Let's continue this investigation for now. Uh, Maki, um, what's so wrong? What? It's not that important, but... The only time you're reliable is when you're investigating a crime scene. Hmm. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Oh, know. Who knows? You're certainly more reliable than Kaido, at least. That guy's useless. Anyway, let's continue. Angie's body, pool of blood, Necromonicon, wax dolls. Do each of them have a different thing? Oh, the katana is its own thing. That's what I was worried about. That's actually what I clicked the wax dolls for. A katana was stabbed in Kaede's wax effigy. Damn it. Who did this and why? Wait a minute. Let me see. Maki nudged me aside and gripped the katana and pulled it out of the effigy. Oh, oh wait. This is a crime scene. You can't... What is it? You wanted to check the katana, right? Well, you can't do it if you don't pull it out. Because... Yes, true, but we have to preserve the scene... Maki paid no mind to my protests and started or stared at the katana for a while. Is this? Ah. It's a real katana. But there's gold leaf on it. Uh, okay. Yeah. I believe that's the one uh, that's on the display in the an uh, ultimate anthropologist lab. Hmm. hmm. Is that so? Okay. We can probably assume that this is the murder weapon, judging by the blood stains on the tip. The edge is just too rusty to cut well. But... It could be uh, enough to stab. But but why would they go through the effort of using this as the murder weapon? That's true. Good question. They could have gone into my lab and grabbed a more suitable weapon. Could it be? Perhaps it's because Kyo's lab is on the same floor and they just grabbed something close by. Maybe they had been in a hurry. Well, or maybe they needed a long weapon like this. Huh? A long weapon. Okay. My lab doesn't contain swords or any other weapons of this length. Huh? Really? That's true. I'm not sure how Monokuma found it, but he must know, or found out, but he must know that I don't use swords for work. But when I first started working, with, I botched a mission using a katana. I haven't trusted a sword since, which is fine because I, they are a hassle to carry anyway. I suppose everyone's lab is suited for them, or their person or them personally, just like Angie's was. But how do they know all this? Anyway, the gold leaf katana flakes off easily. It's all over my hands now. Okay. That must be pretty old for the gold leaf to just flake off that easily. Wait a minute. Why didn't you say so earlier? My hands are all sticky now and I have to wash them. Maki scolded me and stood in front of Kaede's okay. effigy. I'm going to push the katana back where I found it. 
If it's too hard to watch, look away. Uh, okay. Thank you. I have heard of my gaze as Maki stabbed the katana back in the wax effigy. By the way. Even so, why was a weapon stabbed in a wax effigy? Hanging wax effigy, no less. Was that part of the ritual? Or was the culprit trying to hide the murder weapon? Hmm. Perhaps they had no intention of hiding it. They didn't wipe off the blood. Besides, I am certain there are better ways to hide a murder weapon than this. What are you talking about? Then, what's the reason for That's... this? I honestly have no idea. Well... We should investigate where this weapon came from. We might find a clue there. Okay. The only anthropolo anthropologist's lab. Yes, let's do that. I wanted to make sure the katana indeed came from that room. Gold leaf katana has been added to the truthful section of the handbook. I think we have finished investigating everything now. In here. You got a minute? Is this really the time to rest? I don't think we've found enough clues yet. We don't know how much time we have left to investigate, so we need to hurry You're up. Right. You're right. First, we should investigate the ultra ultimate anthropologist lab. We might find clues related to That's the katana. True. That's true. We need to check the katana, or where the katana really came from, or if it did come from that place. Hmm. Something wrong, Maki. Way. It just occurred to me. Why am I acting like you are a partner? Sure, whatever. Well, it's fine. Just don't get used to it. It's not like I asked you, but fine by me. It's true that Maki's tremendous is a tremendous help to me. It is true. Maki Maki's being great. Would you like to leave? Oh, yes, I do. Ultimate Anthropologist Lab. Yep, the katana's out of the display case. Wait, no, it's not. If I remember correctly, the gold leaf katana came from right here. It's just the sheath. Earlier, the katana was inside the sheath. Okay. Maki, the gold leaf katana definitely came from here. I'm certain That's of it. That's true. Doesn't that make Kyo suspicious? This is his research lab, after no. all. Not necessarily. Anyone could have come in here and taken it. That's true. Fair enough. Anyone could have done the same thing with my lab, too. Gold katana is added to the truth bullet section. Oh? Oh, what are you guys doing here? You. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be helping out with the seance? <laughs> you look so disgusted right now. Uh, then again, I guess this is your signature look. Anyway. Anyway, I forgot to bring something we need for the seance, so I came back to get it. Something for the seance. Yeah. Yeah. That white sheet over there. Hmm. Well, we brought the wooden dog statue in the cage already, but I guess we need the sheet too. What is it? I don't get it. Why do you guys need a cage, a wooden dog statue, and a white sheet? <laughs> hey, don't ask me. I don't know the stuff and why we need it either. So that means... That's why I figured I'd do a little research on the seance before I got the sheet. Huh? Study. So, let me see. Koheiji turned around and looked at I heard it was like some old handmade book. Oh, this is it. Yeah. Yep, it says Cage Dog Village right here on the cover. So this must be it. Hmm. Let's see. What does it say about the caged child seance? Kokichi flipped through the old book as he picked mm -hmm. up. Oh, uh, this, isn't this the page? I re it's hard to read, but... I can see the caged child is mentioned here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's not. I actually assumed it was going to be voice acted. Never mind. Kyo's drawing the same magic circle as the one in this picture. Um, okay, let's see. In order to perform the caged child seance, you need five people, including the spirit medium, and a dark place. Um, with no light. If I remember correctly. Just like Kyo said. First, draw the magic circle passed down from the cage dog village on the ground. In the center of the circle, the spirit medium must kneel and curl like a turtle. And the rest of the forehead, or re the rest, and rest their forehead on the stone on the ground afterward. The other four participants must put an iron cage over the spirit medium and close the door, or cover it, what, in, or it with a white sheet. 
And finally, the dog guard, dog god must be placed on top of the cage. Also, it says that we can't step on the magic circle during the preparations. Uh, um, the dog god? Do you mean the wooden god statue? Yeah. When the preparations are complete, I'll turn out all the lights and create a complete darkness. The seance will begin with four participants, each standing in a corner of the room. The four participants, not including the spirit medium, will sing the caged child song. After the song is, or uh, after the song, ask, "Is the caged child?" and then name the say, or say the name of the spirit. The spirit medium will reply in the voice of the summoned spirit. That's all it says. That sounds complicated. Hmm. But complicated plans have a way better chance of working out in the end, wouldn't you say? Hmm. Whether it works or not, Kyo has been wanting to conduct this seance for a while. Since I was unfortunate enough to obtain one of these copies, I've already memorized it. <laughs> but I never would have thought I would be able to lay my eyes on the real one. Right. Oh yeah, he said he memorized it. Every word of it, too. That's probably why he left the book here, because he can conduct the seance without it. But, but even if that is possible, contacting Angie's ghost? <laughs> <laughs> if you're so curious about it, why don't you join us, Shuichi? Huh? You should be able to see how it plays out with your own eyes. See? Uh, there's still a time, you know. The seance hasn't been started That's yet. That's true. Maybe it's better if you join them. Huh? You think so? I don't understand. Well, I'm not going. I don't believe in seances. <sighs> but whether you believe it or not, as a detective, you should be there to observe what happens. As a detective, huh? Okay. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> now you're talking. All right. Well, I'll be waiting for you. Of the three empty rooms, we're in the middle one. Kokichi spoke as though he was inviting me to go play, and then left the room. The cage child has been added to the monopad. Would you like to leave? Yeah, we have to. Here's what I find crazy. Like, we're gonna go into the seance. And that might be the end of our investigation. Hello. Oh, so, Kokichi tells me you wish to participate in the seance as well, Shuichi. You are more than welcome to join us. Oh. Is that... Uh, is what I would like to say. However, only five, including the spiritual medium, may join. Oh, man. Man, what a shame. Oh, shoot. I hit double... I double hit a button. Aw, oh, man, what a shame. Well, Keyboy, you're out. Uh, why me? I agree with Kokichi. I was thinking this for a while. Listen up. Robots and seances don't mix. They're like toothpaste and orange juice. To be honest, I had the same thought. Your help was appreciated, though, Kibo. Why, you? Don't any of you feel guilty for kicking me out? After forcing me to come? Mm. That's why we're all apologizing. Do not mock me. No one has apologized yet. Oh. Fine, fine, our bad. Uh, just don't get mad and start shooting electromagnetic waves at us. Uh, why would I do that? Stop, it. Stop whining, Kibo. I want to start the seance as soon as possible. Uh, <laughs> fine, but I won't forget the betrayal, Suichi. What did I do? Uh, so then. So now Suichi has joined us. First, some warnings. Do you understand? Do not enter the magic circle that I have drawn on the floor. It is drawn with purifying salt so that it it is easily disturbed when stepped upon. Um, you drew the magic circle with salt? That's correct. I always use salt for magic circles. It makes seances more likely to succeed. Well then. Also, it is dark in here, so be sure to watch your step. The magic circle, if the magic circle is broken, not only will the seance fail, Terrifying. but you may unleash the curse. Uh, okay. Got it, I'll be careful. I'm surprised you were able to draw this without even looking at the picture. Do not worry. I have the entire document memorized, so this magic circle should be perfect. Of course, I also have the caged child's song memorized. You must do the same. Do you understand? I have copied the words to the song down here, so please commit it to memory. Everyone else has already memorized it. After all, you will be unable to read it in the dark. Huh? We have to memorize the lyrics now? You're a detective. 
so you expect your memory to be up to the task. Here's the melody. I listened to Kyo sing the song. I did my best to memorize the melody and lyrics. Okay. All right. I think I got it now. <laughs> your memory is extraordinary. You are indeed the ultimate detective. Well then. Let us begin our ritual right away. Yay! Uh, we finally get to see Angie. Uh. Before that, let us choose a spiritual medium. It would work best with a girl. Then I'll do it. Oh, Himiko. I can't think of anyone but me, but that Angie spirit should go in. No. No, I'll do it. Because if you're the spirit medium, you won't be able to talk to Angie. Mm -hmm. That's right. You want to talk to Angie, right? Then I will be the spirit medium. That way, you can say goodbye to her. And after you're finished saying your goodbyes, keep your chin up and live a life facing forward. Survive with me and everyone else. Please. Tenko. By the way. Also, Himiko, let me say this one thing. Expressing your feelings is perfectly natural. You shouldn't feel ashamed at all. If you're feeling like crying while you're talking to Angie, go ahead and cry your eyes out. <laughs> You, uh, you'll feel better when you do. <laughs> well, I mean, laughing makes you feel better too. And venting your anger onto something can really cheer you up. Yes. Train your heart by crying, laughing, and venting your anger, Himiko. Mm. I think you've trained too much. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably right. It seems the two of them have made up. That's good. So then. So, now that we've decided on a spiritual medium. Let us begin. Yes. All right, Himiko. I'll see you later. Now, I would like the spirit medium Tenko to sit within the center circle. Please be sure to walk on the path so as not to disturb the magic circle. Mm -hmm. Make sure you watch your steps. It's so dark in here. Next, you must be as a turtle within that circle. Please rest your forehead upon this stone marker I've placed here. It's just a stone I brought from the courtyard. Are you sure it'll work? Certainly. It is merely needed as a marker for her forehead to rest upon. Um, like this? This may be uncomfortable, but please endure it until the seance is complete. Whatever you do, you mustn't raise your head or change positions. Oh, no. Piece of cake. I have five-star flexibility. I mean, true. So then... Starting now, the rest of us must go to work. There are many things still left to be done. Let's see. First, we must plage the iron cage on top of Tenko. I shall leave that to Shuichi and Kokichi. Please keep in mind, walk carefully as to not disturb the magic circle. Yeah. Okay, you can count on me. I may not look like it, but I'm certainly a super duper strong. I shouldn't have lied. I'm way too weak for this kind of stuff. Oh God. It's made of iron. No wonder it's heavy. Hold on. Don't just drop it on top of me. I know. It wouldn't be very funny if a body discovery announcement happened during this. Don't jinx us! <sighs> I'm tired. So, next, we cover the basket with a white cloth, right? I shall take that role. All right. Everything is prepared. Tenko, how are you doing? Well, I can only see the floor from this position, but I think I'm fine. The final step is to place the wooden statue of the dog god atop the cage. Himiko. The four of us may need to do this oh. together. The statue is quite heavy. <laughs> Even with four people, it's still really heavy. <laughs> oh, holy crap, this weighs a ton! No, it is not much more than 175 pounds. <laughs> Something. <sighs> I'm totally wiped. Nothing. I could have used my magic to carry it easily, but seances and magic don't mix. I mean, you're not wrong, Himiko. Are you sure it's okay to put something so heavy on top of the cage? 
The iron cage was made specifically for seances, so it can hold this weight. Okay. I guess that's fine then. Now, let us exit the magic circle. Take care to avoid disturbing. So then, this is the point of no return, Tenko. After this point, you mustn't speak. Next time you open your mouth, it'll be Angie speaking through you. Got it. Understood. I will not say a word until the seance is over. Okay, everyone. I'll see you guys after the seance. Well then, the rest of us shall move into the corners of the room. Please go to one of your choosing. We stood, or we each stood in a different corner. Now we darken the room. Kokichi and Shuichi are closest to the candles. Please blow out the candles. You should be able to follow the walls in the dark. So go back to the corner of the room after it's dark. Okay, got it. You needn't move, Himiko. There are many gaps in the floor near you. Yeah. Got it. Once the room is dark, I will begin the song. Please sing along with me. Then, I will call out to Angie. Until she replies, there must be silence. After the seance is done, Shuichi and I are supposed to light the candles again, right? Correct. I brought matches from the warehouse, so please use those. Okie dokie, then I'll blow out the candle now. I walked up to the closest candle and blew out the flame. The room instantly fell into complete darkness. Pitch black darkness. So dark I couldn't even see my own body. Overcoming the instinctual fear of the dark, I moved along the back wall to my corner and began singing. At last, at last, at long last. Kyo led all of us all in the Cage Child song. Young are dark and little lost girl, sealed within an iron cage. At mountain's bottom, within the darkness, at last, at last, at long last. Reach out to touch Wraith. Conduct no! Why did I get an achievement? 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 No, no, no! Steam, 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 steam. Did you? No, 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 no. Steam, I swear to God. I fin We finished singing the song, but I thought I heard an R oh, sound in the middle of it. What was that? Steam, no. Say. Is the caged child, Angie? Yonaga. He began calling out. Now, if the medium answers... Say. Is the cage child Angie Yanaga? What's going on? Say. Is the cage child Angie Yanaga? What's the matter? What's wrong? Why won't Angie answer? Hold on. Kiniko? I was very clear that you were not to speak, yes? Mm. But something's weird. Why won't she answer? Um. Maybe it failed? Let's see. Let's light the candles briefly. Huh? What? Is that okay? Just for now. Confused, I walked along the wall, back to the candle, and I managed to strike the match at light. The candle once again. I think Steam just gave it away. 
No. Yeah. Steam just gave it away. Steam just gave it away. Steam just gave it away. Fuck Steam, dude. Fuck Steam. Uh, I can't even react because Steam achievements. Are you kidding me? I hate Steam so much. I'm so upset. Steam. That was a fucking stupid place for an achievement. I can see the blood. I know she's dead. Steam. As soon as the achievement... For context, I'm pissed. I'm actually upset. I'm actually upset. For context, Steam achievements only happen at the end of the chapter once somebody has been executed from non-game means. That is when Steam achievements has always popped up. So as soon as the Steam achievement popped up, I knew. That's so dumb. I mean, if she's gonna go out, at least she's going out helping Kimiko, but... I'm actually mega upset with Steam on that one. That is not, like, that is not Danganropa. I love, the, the, the way that Danganropa did this was great. That is not a Danganropa problem. I loved that. Like, I, the, the thunk told me something went wrong. Things were happening. But Steam Achievement literally said, by the way, she's dead. Like, I, I should not have to find the death out from Steam Achievement. That really soils the death. But even though it's, like, a really good death and the way that they did this was really well done... Hey, what's going on? Did it really fail? Be. That shouldn't be the case. The seance was perfect. What? Is Angie not coming? Is Tenko still there? Dot the dot. <laughs> Tenko! I see, yes. I told her she mustn't speak until the spirit enters her. <laughs> ah, she follows Ord as well! But how about we let her out now? Hold on. Wait. The dark arts such as or as such need to be this or need to be started. As such like at, ugh, wait. Dark gods such as this need to be started and completed the same way. Who, those who remove objects from the magic circle must be the same who brought them in. If not, uh, the spirit may stay in the medium's body. Man. Uh, seeing how much of, a f of this was a failure, I don't even think any spirit uh, is sticking around, but whatever. Just like setup. Kyo instructed us to clean everything up. We were careful to remove everything as or uh, exactly as Kyo directed. Now, I will remove. remove the sheet. Yup. Kyo pinched the fabric gently and pulled it aside. Perhaps something is amiss. Yeah. Kimiko ran towards the cage at a sprint. <laughs> Kimiko, I told you not to step inside the... But she wasn't listening. She jumped out of the cage and... Tango! Fueled by desperation, Himiko grabbed the cage and lifted it up. Yup. I feel terrible for Himiko! Really? Who would have thought there'd be another victim during the investigation? Maybe Modifane's cream puke was predicting this tragedy. <laughs> oh, now it's orange. The puke color is normal now. I guess it was predicting this. Everyone, please assemble in the seance room. A 
A second body discovery announcement played. It didn't take long for everyone to come running. What? Tango? Seriously? <laughs> what? What is this? How did this happen? How this happen? Tango, I got Gata. So sorry, Gata. No, protect you. Wait a minute. Shuichi, please explain the situation. I thought you were conducting the seance. What happened? Well, that's... I don't know what's happening. What on earth? I'm surprised too. I never thought a murder would happen during an investigation. Um, um I guess for now, you should maybe start the investigation right away. Say. Before that, I would like to confirm something. The culprit who killed Angie maybe did or. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. The culprit who killed Angie may be a different culprit from the one who confirmed Tenko, yes? Huh? If so. What? what happens in the event that the two murders are. In the event there are two murders by two people? Who, if. What if there are two blackened? Will there be a need to find both of them in the class trial? That's right. Now that you mention it, that is a good point. What would happen in that scenario? Yeah. What would happen? Maradon, what would happen? Um, uh, what would happen? Not that. Why do you look at his loss too, Maradam? I thought you were gonna run things instead of Daddy. I never expected something like this to happen. I don't know. Or I don't know what to do. Really, I do not know. Aw, oh, man. They're so disorganized. Uh, if you can't decide the class trial's objective, then we won't even know what to investigate. Father, Father always knows what to do. We should ask him for help. No Have you already forgotten? Daddy is in no condition to help us. He's back. He's back. No, he's not. Oh, God. Um, it's all our fault Daddy ended up like that. Huh? It's all your fault, Monofain. Daddy, Daddy help. We don't know what to do on our own. Ah. We got to use the power of love. This ought to be to snap him back to normal. That won't work. Father is just an empty shell now. That's not true! Anything is possible with the power of love! You don't understand that, because you've never been loved before, Monodom. Daddy! Daddy, I love you, so please go back to normal! Father. I want to see you, Father. I love you with all of my heart. Yeah. Aww, you're making me blush. Here I am! I'm back! Were you good while I was away? able to fully enjoy my relaxing vacation. <laughs> oh, that tickles. Father's intense love is getting me all soaked. Daddy, your tongue feels amazing. This better not awaken anything in me. No. No, no. Man, that vacation was just what I needed. It's in important to take some time off and relax. Normally, most companies won't even let you take the time off and go on vacation. But I was able to do it. The secret is just to leave with whether you get permission or not. Um, Wait, so then who is this baldy then? Yeah. Oh, just a part-timer. I got to cover me while I was gone. Hey. Here's your pay like we agreed upon. Now take it and get out of here. Huh? I thought you were supposed to be relaxed. Now that that nuisance is out of the way, what were you guys talking about again? Yeah. Oh, that's right. What happens to, uh, to your votes if there are two blackened candidates? I'll well, that. I have an answer. First come, first huh? serve. First come, first serve. Hey, um... The blackened who killed the first victim to be discovered will be your target. In other words, if the blackened who killed Angie is in the scene from the one who killed Tanko, then only Angie's killer would be considered the blackened. <laughs> Basically, Tanko's killer wasted a kill, and Tanko herself is a waste of a victim. Now then. Oh, I'll add that to the school regulations. You can view it. You can wear it, or you can review it later. I also updated the Monokuma file. Do your best to investigate this murder too. Monokuma file three has been updated. 
in the truth bullet section of your monopod. Boy, everything is running smoothly. That father is running things again. Leader is going to be able to take decisive action. Indecision is just the worst. Daddy, you're glowing like a lamp! There's nothing better than a being praised by my cute cubs. There's nothing better than spending time with my cute cubs. So as long as you live, I will never let any of you go. He just left us behind while he was saying he'd never let us go. That's why he's so amazing! Please lick me more, Daddy! Oh my god, that sigh. So long, farewell. Um, so to make sense of all of that, listen closely. If both brothers have different culprits, then we, our vote will determine Angie's killer. Yeah. We don't even know if there's a different culprit, do we? Let's see. True. We should investigate Tenko's death as well, just in case. How exciting! Finally, things are starting to heat up. I'm getting so excited. Oh, shit! God, you fucking psycho! Suichi. Suichi, this is bad. Huh? Hmm. <sighs> this is unquestionably bad. I cannot believe Tenko was killed. Everyone's upset and confused, and I am in no shape to help right now. So this is where I need you to step up. Listen up. Listen, Shuichi. It is impossible. The impossible is possible, so you gotta do... All, all you gotta do is make it so. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Let me check the Monokuma file first. The victim is Tenko Chabasar, Chabashira, the ultimate Aikido master. The body was found in the middle of the empty room on the fourth floor. The time of death was 11 a.m., only visible injury is a stab wound in the back of the neck. The same injury as before. Now that's interesting. Hmm. A stab wound on her neck. The same as Angie's cause of death. Hmm. Uh, it doesn't look like a coincidence. Maybe it is Angie's curse. <gasps> curse! Jeez. God, not again. <laughs> curse! Hey! What? Curse? Kaito, calm down. No way there's a curse. Don't screw around. You're the one who's screwing around. Do you want to die? <laughs> Maki. Slam. A dull sound reverberated throughout the room. Are you okay? Kaido, are you okay? My bad. My bad, Shuichi. I'm starting to feel bad, but for a different reason. I'm gonna get some fresh air, so I'll leave this to you and Max or Maki roll. Kaido left the room, still a bit wobbly. Um, um. Should we resume the investigation? Time is of the yeah, true. essence. True. We haven't time to mourn Tanko's death. Our lives are at risk. This is. That's true, but Angie and then Tanko. <laughs> and to think of it earlier, I was suspicious of Tanko. I'm sorry, Tenko. How can this be? It all Gato's fault. Gato failed to protect friends again. Tenko's death caught us all off guard. Everyone is panicking. I have to keep it together. I have to work harder. Because I am a detective. Investigation resume. Well. It is too dark in here. We can't investigate even if we wanted to. Got it. Gato bring candles from other room to make room bright again, okay? Hmm. No. No. That won't be necessary. Ah. Yeah, it's not necessary at all. Huh? Why? Show him, Kibo. Show him your power. New power? His eyes lit up. I, Mui Ruma, the gorgeous girl genius, have installed a new function in Kibo. Oh! Just leave it to me. I will become the guiding light that shines on you all. Shine on, you crazy fucking diamond! Oh, man. Man, what a lame function. You should have made him, like, a transformer or something. It's uh, but it's bright now. We should try and hurry and investigate. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Kibo's flashlight function has been added to the monopad. And in the next episode of Danganronpa B3, Killing Harmony, we'll have to investigate Tenko's death as well. Screw Steam. I want to say this right now. Screw Steam for giving that away. 
I am actually so upset that Steam did that. Steam, that, that's the dumbest achievement in the entire Steam roster that I've seen so far. Screw Steam. Amazing job from Danganronpa Cast. That's all, I, like, Danganronpa Cast did that so well. Good job, Danganronpa team, for the way that you put together this death. Sorry Steam had to ruin it a lot and take the tension completely away because you guys did an amazing job on that. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next episode where we get Tanko's death all sorted out. See you guys then.